Sony and Honda are making waves here at CES. The company introduced a new vehicle brand as well as a concept car that previews a future production vehicle that could hit the road sooner than you might expect. Sony Honda Mobility introduced the new Afila brand here at CES. And yes, the name has feel right in the middle because they really want to appeal to drivers' emotions. Now, beyond that, they also unveiled a concept car that I just mentioned a moment ago, though this vehicle does not have a model name, which is kind of curious. As for the styling, this car has a very clean exterior and a prominently curved roof line. And if you look closely, there's a dash of Hyundai Ioniq here, a sprinkle of Tesla there, and maybe even a bit of Lucid Air thrown in for good measure. Overall, the design doesn't break any new ground, but I've got to say it does look quite attractive here on the show floor. Up front, there is no grill. Instead, this car has something called a media bar, which is basically a screen that allows you to put pictures or text up and really customize the looks of this vehicle. As for size, the wheelbase is about 118 inches, which is actually about seven inches longer than a Honda Accords, while the body length overall is just about 193 inches, which is actually a touch shorter than an Accords. So basically, this is like an all-electric midsize sedan. Inside, this concept's cabin is elegant and uncluttered. It has room for five people, and designers aimed to wrap occupants in a soft cocoon, and I can't argue with that. It sounds pretty great. Up on the dashboard, you can see there are nearly pillar-to-pillar -pillar screens, which of course is no surprise for a modern concept vehicle. And behind those displays, there's a human-machine interface with 5G cloud connectivity that will provide a range of services and entertainment options. And Sony Honda Mobility is actually working with Epic Games to deliver those goods. This car will also feature augmented reality navigation functionality, plus engineers are aiming to deliver level three autonomous driving capability in limited situations, as well as level two plus functionality in many more, including urban areas. So inside and out, this car features 45 different cameras and sensors, 45, and that's a crazy number, though they will give the vehicle 360 degree visibility. And of course, powering various advanced driver assistance technologies is Qualcomm's Snapdragon digital chassis chips. Beyond that, no powertrain information has really been shared about this vehicle, but I can tell you it will have four wheel independent suspension and should come standard with all wheel drive. Sony Honda Mobility says a production version of this concept is in the works and pre-orders should start in the first half of 2025 and then deliveries, at least for North America, will commence in the spring of 2026. Now, of course, it's still early days. I have no pricing information to share, though the car will be assembled in North America by Honda, which is great news because they've been building cars for a number of years now. And guess what? They're pretty good at it. Next up, watch our first look video of the Hyundai Ioniq 6 by clicking right over here. If you're shopping for an all-electric sedan, you're gonna wanna see this Hyundai because it looks great, it's gonna charge super quickly, and I bet it'll drive very well too.